Hey there, welcome to my Surfer SEO SERP Analyzer review and tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I use Surfer's SERP Analyzer to see how I can better improve existing articles and rank for specific keywords. So for this query, I'm going to use auto repair, oops, auto glass repair, Fresno. Now for this query, this is a local search query, we're going to set the location to well, we have two options. We can set it to the United States, that which is where I'm from and where Fresno is, or we can specify exactly Fresno, the city in California that's in the United States, which is pretty cool. This is a rather new feature. So if I click Fresno, we can actually just delete this one. So we can try to optimize for either or, but sometimes auto glass repair might have more search volume than auto glass repair Fresno. In this case, I'm not certain. I haven't done my keyword research, but I would assume that you would by the time you're using this tool. Uh, let's get started here with this demo. So I'm going to let it load here. I will resume the video once it's finished. Okay, I'm back and auto glass repair with the location set to Fresno is good to go. Let's click on that. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. On the left hand side, this is your on-page ranking factors for SEO. Besides the backlinks here, this is just a new beta feature. And then we have the graph here. The graph is going to reflect whatever's checked off over here. So you can see by default, Surfer SERP Analyzer checks off words. So if we uncheck that, that's what's going to show. Okay, we'll talk about these little correlation factors in just a minute. Down here, we have the search results. And there's a lot of tabs, of course. The search results, though, reflects what you would see for auto glass repair for this specific location that we're using, which is Fresno. And as you can see, Yelp is number one, and the rest follows. Okay, so let's start off with words here. So by default, Surfer SEO is going to start off with the averages here. You can see for positions one through 10, the average word count is 902. For the second page of Google, it's 504. The third page, competitors are at 807 words. So I don't like starting off with averages selected. So I, I want to see them all individually. And you can see as I start hovering over these competitors, this changes right here, this first search result. Okay, so let's zoom in here on the X axis. We just want to see the top 10. Who are the top 10? Okay, now to progress with this tutorial of the SERP analyzer, I need to select one of these and pretend to be one. So let me pretend to be this one here, Los Amigos Mobile Auto Glass. Seems like a decent competitor. So I'm going to need to copy the URL here. I could have just done that easily from where are you from right here, just copied it. And then in this section here, we're going to type in or paste the domain here and then click on compare. So let's just do that here, paste and compare. And the reason we're doing this is because it's going to insert a horizontal line and then it's going to let us analyze uh, amongst the competitors there. Uh, before we get going here though, one last thing I do want to do is I want to qualify who I'm measuring up against. Now to do this, we want to exclude all pages, which we probably should have started off with first. I forgot about that, but let's click on that real quick. You'll see everything's gone. First, we want to qualify competitors that we're measuring up against. Now the type of content, and by, by that I mean I need to compare my website, the one that I'm pretending to be with other competitors that are doing better than me that are also local windshield and auto glass repair local businesses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up these ones that are not directories. And I'm going to see if I want to. So that's yellow pages. I think those three, if they're, oh, that's the one we're pretending to be. This is satellite auto glass and it's kind of looks like a directory, but okay. I think it's a, it's a local business as well. Yeah. Our services. Okay. Local business as well. Cool. Local business as well. So we're going to just select those 
those are the top three that I want to model after Yelp, right? We're, we don't want to include Yelp because Yelp is not the style that we're going after. It's not a home page type website. It's just a whole bunch of reviews and whatnot. Okay, so let's close these out. We'll leave our pretend tutorial example URL or domain. Now, to select those main competitors that we just did, we're going to have to click on this include URL in chart and audit I icon. So boom, boom, boom. Now you see that my content or my URL is compared to just our selected competitors. And now we can really start using the SERP analyzer to our advantage because now these correlation factors are going to be a lot more accurate, you could say, because we're measuring against good competitors that Google is already ranking and favoring. And by the way, for those of you who are asking yourself, wait a second, I thought Surfer SEO was this cool tool that was just going to analyze the competitors and it's going to tell me exactly step by step what to do, what to adjust. Don't worry. The SERP analyzer, what you're seeing right now, that is a tool. It's just a tool that can help you do some quick adjustments here and there. But really, the power of the SERP analyzer is when you start using what's called the audit feature here, which is going to be in the next Surfer SEO video that I'm going to do. I'll leave the link in the description below, so make sure to check that out. You'll see what I mean when we when you watch that video and how these two work. It's just, in my opinion, two different ways of looking and optimizing your on-page content. This, what we're doing right here, is a more, it's a more, how do I say it? Uh, it's a more manual way of analyzing things. This way, you can see it a lot more visually with what I'm about to show you, just analyzing all these uh, on-page factors, while the audit tells you, okay, get rid of this phrase this many times. It'll tell you to include certain phrases in headings. It'll tell you to do um, some image tag optimization, things of that nature. Well, this one, this is just uh, presenting everything in a graph format. Okay, so let's get started here with the on-page factors. We will start with structure. As you can see, there's different sections here and subsections. With the body, we already know what the words look like, but how about the exact keywords? As you can see, the first, the local business, is only using it zero times in the content while the second one is using it one time and we are using it two times the fourth competitor is using it eight times he's the black sheep here standing out so it's good to be in between what you're seeing here next up let's try to do i'm not going to go through all of these because there are a lot but you want to pay attention to the correlation graphs or meters that are really green. Those are that surfer telling you these are the ones you should be paying attention to based off the competitors that you selected. So for the title, it's not really giving me a correlation factor. So I'm not going to pay attention to that one, although I would just do it to be safe. All right, this is just the meta title. Let's look at image alt tags, for example. So we'll take a look at the partial keywords, right? Which is the number of words beginning with the same three letters of any word or phrase. So we're similar to number uh, two and three, but the first one ranking here is not using it, any partial keywords in image tags at all, right? So maybe we should consider lowering this a little bit to match just to be right here in the middle, right? And now let's say that you made some of these changes, guys. Let's say, you could also check page speed. Let's say you made some adjustments, right? Well, all you would have to do is go to your WordPress website, whatever site you're doing it, uh, update the page, and then come back to Surfer SEO, and then click the refresh button right here. Let's pick a, let's pick words, and not in the H2, let's just pick words in, the body content okay so we're at 362 we would want to shoot to be somewhere around the thousand word mark and then let's click refresh url that would populate because you updated it and then you would go up here right this bar 
horizontal bar would move up if we added more content to it. All right, so now that you understand a little bit more how this tool works, let's wrap up by summarizing what's here at the bottom. And you're already familiar with the search result. Um, in the next video, like I said, we're going to cover the audit feature, which is very powerful. Um, let's go to keywords tab. So this is going to show you the keywords. By the way, this is not going to reflect up here what's going on on the screen. This is just its own little section. So as you can see, the first competitor, Yelp, is ranking for zero keywords, which is actually not true, which is why this is beta. So let's skip over this one, but it's saying, you know, car glass Fresno has 150 ranked words. Okay, whoop de doo Okay, so sim the similar keywords tab, it, all it's doing is saying, like it says here in the question, at least two from the top 20 page ranking for auto glass repair also rank for these keywords here. Now, the results here, I don't really like using actually any of these tabs, but they're worth taking a look at every now and then. And the reason I say they're not worth taking a look at is because it's taking or analyzing the top 20 pages ranking for this keyword while I'm trying to focus on my selected competitors. Okay, but either way, I wanna make this a full tutorial so you know exactly what's going on here. So these are similar questions, top two questions amongst the top 20, popular words. So 30 words that are used in the pages at least twice sorted by number of occurrences. Okay, so reviews is pretty well used, of course, because it's Yelp. So I wouldn't be paying attention to Yelp. And as you can see, there are, it's measuring everyone. This is, by the way, the least used section of the SERP analyzer. I use the audit tool a lot more. You guys are going to like that one. So make sure to check it out. I'll leave it in the description. Popular phrases similar to popular words. Common words, words that are common amongst the top 10. Okay, so you can do with that what you must. As I told you, this SERP analyzer is a very manual process of updating things. It's not really until you use the SERP, the SEO audit tool, that you start really getting in there with the on-page changes. Okay, and then common backlinks, which I don't really find it too helpful. I like using uh, hrefs for my backlink analysis. All right, that does it for this video. I hope it wasn't too much. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't tried Surfer SEO yet, make sure to do so. You can try today with a dollar and you can get seven day free access to it. So you can get in there and start adjusting your own pages or start outsourcing pages with the Surfer content editor, which I showed you how to do in another video, which I'll link below. It's a tutorial. So basically what you do here is you can outsource a pre-built template or an editor ready for your content writer to write with on-page SEO in mind. So they'll know um, the content structure, they'll know the important terms to use, and the density, as you can see here, auto glass is used once already. Customer service is also used once. And questions and topics to answer and a lot more. All they have to do is copy the link and they can open it in whatever part of the world they're at. That No login required. So this is also part of your free, or not free trial, your dollar trial. So links in the description, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the True Density audit. I think you guys are really going to like it a lot more than the SERP analyzer.